Have you ever wondered what secrets lie hidden within the historical places of France? Welcome to a journey into the heart of French history, where we'll venture into 10 enigmatic locations, each shrouded in mystery and intrigue. From the haunting Chateau de Brissac to the bone-chilling catacombs of Paris, the mythical forest of Brocéliande, to the Grand Chateau de Chambord, we'll explore tales of ghosts, secrets, and legends. Let's unravel the mysteries of these historical landmarks, beginning with the enigmatic Rennes-le-Château. The first destination on our mystery tour is Rennes-le-Château. Nestled in the heart of France's Languedoc region, this quaint village bears a secret as old as time itself. Rennes-le-Château, once a thriving metropolis during the Roman era, is now a maze of narrow streets and charming stone buildings, all shrouded in whispers of hidden treasure and unsolved mystery. The intrigue surrounding Rennes-le-Château centers largely on its former priest, Berenger Saunière. Arriving in the late 19th century to a dilapidated church, Saunière suddenly and inexplicably became extraordinarily wealthy. His newfound wealth sparked rumors of a hidden treasure, one that Saunière supposedly discovered within the church. The supposed treasure has been linked to everything from the lost riches of the Knights Templar to the Holy Grail. Despite numerous treasure hunts and countless theories, the source of Saunière's wealth and the location of the alleged treasure remain enigmatic. Some believe that secret documents revealing the location of the treasure were found by Saunière, but these too have never been discovered. The allure of Rennes-le-Château doesn't end with hidden treasure. The village is also said to have connections to the Priory of Sion, a secret society linked to the protection of the Holy Grail. Whether this is fact or fiction, only adds to the air of mystery that permeates every stone and cobble of this fascinating village. As we leave the mysteries of Rennes-le-Château behind, we journey next to the haunted Château de Brissac. Welcome to the Château de Brissac, a place where the past refuses to die. Nestled in the heart of France's picturesque Loire Valley, this towering edifice is more than just a historical monument. It's a repository of tales that echo with eerie whispers, tales that have survived the test of time. The Chateau de Brissac is often called the Giant of the Loire Valley, thanks to its seven floors and imposing stature. But beyond its architectural grandeur, the Chateau is renowned for its resident ghost, the Green Lady, a tormented spirit believed to be Charlotte de Brez, the illegitimate daughter of King Charles VII. Legend has it, in the 15th century, Charlotte's husband discovered her illicit love affair and in a fit of rage, murdered her and her lover. Since then, she's said to roam the chateau's corridors, forever trapped in her green dress, her face a horrifying vision of gaping holes where her eyes and nose should be. Visitors and residents alike have reported inexplicable happenings, chilling wails in the dead of night, sudden cold drafts and even sightings of the green lady herself. The chateau's current occupants, the Cos Brissac family, have grown accustomed to their spectral tenant, accepting her as part of the chateau's rich tapestry, from the ghostly whispers of Chateau de Brissac, we now descend into the catacombs of Paris. A stark contrast to the towering grandeur of the chateau yet no less compelling in its mystery. Beneath the bustling streets of Paris lies a world of the dead, the catacombs. This subterranean labyrinth stretching over 200 miles houses the remains of six million souls, their bones stacked high in silent macabre galleries. In the late 18th century as the city's graveyards began to overflow, the decision was made to repurpose the city's ancient stone mines into an ossuary. Thus, the catacombs were born, a chilling solution to a grave problem. Night after night, processions of black-draped carts ferried the bones of the departed from the city's cemeteries to their new resting place beneath the streets. But the catacombs are not merely a monument to the dead. They are steeped in legend and lore. Tales abound of hapless wanderers lost in their depths, their cries echoing off the bone-lined walls. Some whisper of the green man, a ghostly figure said to haunt the tunnels, a lantern in his hand and sorrow in his eyes. The catacombs of Paris are a testament to the city's layered history, a chilling juxtaposition of life above and death below. They remind us of our mortality, the fleeting nature of existence, and the enduring power of the past. Leaving the chilling catacombs behind our next destination is the mythical forest of Brocéliande. Step into the realm of legends and fairy tales in the forest of Brasiliande. This is no ordinary forest, my friends, but an enchanted land steeped in the rich tapestry of Arthurian legends. Nestled in the heart of Brittany, France, 
The forest of Brosiliand is said to be the very place where King Arthur embarked on his quest for the Holy Grail. The forest whispers tales of Merlin the Wizard, whose magic is said to still linger among the ancient oaks. It's said that he was entrapped here, in the Vale of No Return, by the fairy Vivian, the Lady of the Lake. Even today visitors claim to feel a mystical energy infused in the air, a testament to the forest's mythical past. Yet the forest of Brasiliand is not all whimsy and magic. It's a historical treasure trove, home to megalithic sites dating back to the Neolithic era. These stone structures scattered across the forest are silent witnesses to a time long past, adding an additional layer of intrigue to this enchanting woodland. The charm of Brasiliand lies in its blend of history and mythology, of tangible reality and the ethereal. It's a place where the veil between the world of the living and the realm of legend seems thin, where every leaf seems to whisper a tale from the annals of Arthurian lore. From the mythical forest we travel next to the fortress of Chateau de Comarque. The Chateau de Comarque stands as a testament to the medieval era. A grand fortress, it is shrouded in centuries of history, its stories etched in its weathered stone. Nestled in the heart of the Dordogne region, this ancient edifice is a symbol of a time when chivalry and honor were the rule of the day. The fortress is a marvel of architecture, a testimony to the ingenuity of its creators. Built for endurance and defense, its towers and ramparts hint at a past filled with battles and sieges. Imagine the clashing of swords, the echoes of war cries, the smell of gunpowder, all part of its storied past. The Chateau de Comarque was not just a fortress, but a strategic stronghold during the Hundred Years' War. It was a chess piece in the grand game between England and France, its ownership changing hands as the tides of war shifted. It witnessed countless battles, its walls bearing silent witness to the victories, losses and stalemates of this turbulent period. Even today the fortress holds secrets yet to be revealed. Its underground tunnels and hidden chambers whisper tales of intrigue and power, of knights and nobles playing their part in the grand tapestry of history. Every stone, every crevice, every shadow of the Chateau de Comarque holds a story waiting to be told. As we leave the fortress we find ourselves drawn to the mystery of the Rennes Le Chateau manuscript. Just like the fortress, it holds secrets to a past that continues to captivate the imagination, inviting us to delve deeper into the enigmatic heart of French history. We now delve into the mystery of the Rennes Le Chateau manuscript, a cryptic document that has baffled historians and mystery enthusiasts for decades. It's a tale that begins in the late 19th century with a humble priest named Berenger Saunier, the parish of Rennes-le-Chateau, and a wealth that seemed to appear out of thin air. Saunier allegedly found the manuscript hidden within his church, and it's said that the secrets within led him to a treasure beyond belief. But what did the manuscript contain? That's where the mystery deepens. Some believe it held the location of a lost treasure, perhaps the riches of the Templar Knights or even the Holy Grail itself. Others suggest it contained heretical religious texts, or proof of a royal bloodline. The truth, however, remains elusive. Despite numerous attempts, no one has definitively deciphered the manuscript's content. It's written in a cipher, a code that has proven resistant to even the most determined codebreakers. Theories abound, but the manuscript keeps its secrets well. Yet the allure of the Rennes-le-Chateau manuscript endures. The promise of untold riches, the thrill of the chase, the allure of the unknown, it draws us in and keeps us guessing. And isn't that the beauty of a mystery? To keep us questioning, exploring and pushing the boundaries of what we know. From the cryptic manuscript, we venture next to the haunted Chateau de Fougeray. Welcome to the Chateau de Fougeray, where the line between the living and the dead blurs. This castle, nestled in the heart of France, is an intriguing blend of beauty and mystery, with its history seeping from the stone walls and echoing in the centuries-old corridors. Built in the 15th century, Chateau de Fougeray has seen generations come and go, each leaving their indelible mark on its history. And, as the stories tell us, some of these inhabitants never really left. The castle has become synonymous with paranormal activity, with numerous accounts of ghost sightings and otherworldly occurrences reported over the years. The most notable of these spectral residents is said to be a young girl named Rose, a former resident of the Chateau. Visitors and paranormal investigators alike claim to have seen her wandering the halls, heard her laughter echoing in the rooms, and even felt her presence in the chilly drafts that sweep through the castle. But she is not alone. Chateau de Fougeray is said to be home to several spirits, each with their own story, their own connection to the castle's rich history. From the mysterious woman in white, to the phantom dog seen roaming the grounds, 
The chateau is a hotbed for the supernatural. Leaving the haunted chateau behind, we journey next to the Grand Chateau de Chambord. The Chateau de Chambord is an architectural marvel shrouded in mystery. A jewel in the crown of the French Loire Valley, this grand chateau has fascinated historians and mystery enthusiasts alike for centuries. This majestic structure, with its unique blend of French Renaissance and classical Italian architecture, was commissioned by King Francis I in the 16th century. Yet, the king spent barely seven weeks at Chambord in his entire lifetime, sparking curiosity about the true purpose of its construction. The chateau's design is attributed to Domenico da Cortona, but some claim that the genius polymath Leonardo da Vinci, a guest of King Francis, may have had a hand in its creation. The double helix staircase at the heart of the chateau mirroring the structure of DNA bears a striking resemblance to da Vinci's sketches, adding fuel to this claim. However, with da Vinci's death predating the construction, the truth remains elusive. Adding to the enigma are the 365 chimneys, one for each day of the year, a feature that is both aesthetically pleasing and functionally puzzling. The chateau's vast expanse of unoccupied rooms and labyrinthine corridors further deepen the mystery surrounding its true purpose. The grandeur and mystique of Chateau de Chambord continue to captivate, leaving us to marvel at its architectural brilliance and ponder its hidden secrets. From Chambord, let's journey to the last two chateaus, Chateau de Montfort and Chateau de Ville. Our mystery tour concludes with two captivating chateaus, Montfort and Vix. Allow me to introduce you to the Chateau de Montfort, a fascinating spectacle perched on a rocky outcrop overlooking the Dordogne River. Its history is as complex as its structure, with tales of sieges, destruction and reconstruction. But what adds a layer of intrigue is the legend of the White Lady of Montfort. It is said that a lady dressed in white roams the castle grounds lamenting her fate. Her identity remains a mystery but her story has become a part of Montfort's rich history. Could she be the ghost of one of the castle's former residents or is she merely a figment of local folklore? The answer remains shrouded in the mists of time. Now, let's journey to the Chateau de Vic, a place that radiates mystery from its very foundations. Nestled in the Burgundy region, this chateau is not known for grandeur or architectural prowess. Instead, its fame stems from the Vic's grave, a burial site from the Iron Age discovered nearby. The grave held the remains of an unidentified woman, dubbed the Lady of Vix, along with a treasure trove of artifacts including the largest known Greek bronze vessel. The identity of the Lady of Vix and the reason for her extravagant burial perplex historians to this day. Was she a queen, a high priestess, or perhaps a warrior? Her story remains an enigma, adding to the allure of the Chateau de Vic. As we delve into the histories of these two chateaus we encounter more questions than answers. The legends and mysteries associated with them serve as reminders of our past's complexities and the secrets it can hold. They show us that every stone, every artifact, every spectral figure has a story to tell, a mystery to unravel. As we conclude our tour, remember that history often holds more mysteries than we can imagine. We've journeyed through time and history, unraveling the mysteries of these fascinating French landmarks. From the enigmatic Rennes Le Chateau to the bone-chilling catacombs of Paris, and the mythical forest of Brocéliande, to the grandeur of Chateau de Chambord. Each location, a unique story, a piece of the puzzle in the tapestry of French history. If you enjoyed this journey into the mysteries of French history, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, keep exploring and keep questioning.